As much as traditional gamers hate the idea of smartphone gaming, we can't deny the facts. In fact, in a couple of years' time, the time spent playing mobile games is set to overtake that playing console games. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the top 7 smartphones for gaming in 2017. Number 1 is the iPhone X, and with the brand new A11 Bionic chip inside of it, it is about 40% faster than the iPhone 7, which is even today still one of the fastest phones for gaming. On top of that, we've got a brand new 5.8 inch Super Retina HD display, which is not only by far the highest resolution display ever seen on an iPhone, but it also supports the brand new True Tone Color standard. Now, one other thing to bear in mind is that iPhone displays support 3D touch, which hasn't been a revolutionary feature, but can still be pretty fun. Say, for example, you're playing a racing game on a standard Android device, you'll be able to control left and right. But with an iPhone with 3D touch, you can not only do left and right, but also control the strength of your turns by exerting different amounts of pressure. Also, Apple has actually built the iPhone X from the ground up to work with augmented reality. The sensors on the cameras on the rear have been calibrated much more effectively, which supposedly allows for more immersive experience, but only time will tell on that one. Number two, we have the OnePlus 5. And I'd say for a good majority of the people who want to use an Android phone and who want to game, this is the phone for you. It ticks every single box. Not only is it $450, so about two thirds of the price of most flagship Android phones, but it's got everything. We've got a 5.5 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080, which makes a lot of sense for gaming for two reasons. Not only is it less than Quad HD, which means there are less pixels to push and your frame rates can be higher, and also there can be more things going on on screen without the phone slowing down. But also a 1920 by 1080p resolution implies that you have a 16 by nine ratio which in the current state of Android gaming where 18 to 9 isn't really supported very well, makes a lot more sense. If you play the same games on your S8 or your Note 8, which have those stretched screen dimensions, all you get is these ugly black bars on the side. But also there's the simple fact that even months after its launch, the OnePlus 5 is pretty much the fastest Android phone on the planet. We've got the Snapdragon 835, and on the top tier model, eight gigabytes of RAM. Number three is the Zook Z2 Pro, a phone which pretty much blitzes everything at the $300 price point. We've got the Snapdragon 820, which yes, is a chip from last year, but at the same time, don't forget, it's a chip last year from phones costing twice as much. It supports that with up to six gigs of RAM, and it also has an AMOLED panel, so it ticks a lot of boxes for not a lot of money. Then we have the Sony XZ Premium, and whilst all in all it wasn't the best received smartphone, in terms of gaming it does have a few things that differentiate it from its competitors. For instance, that 4K HDR 5.5 inch display. First of all, that resolution is absolutely crazy, and whilst holding it in your hand, especially with a size of 5.5 inches, you might not be able to tell the difference. In terms of virtual reality, when that screen is blown up to a much larger size, you definitely will. Also, the HDR aspect means you get much deeper blacks, much brighter whites, and therefore just an overall more impressive image. Also with the Sony, because it's a Sony phone, you get PlayStation Remote Play. So if you have a PlayStation 4, then natively on the phone, you can stream games from it to the device. Now, quite possibly the one you are least likely to have heard of on the list, the Lenovo P2. And at just $200, it has got some crazy specifications. We've got three gigs of RAM, the Snapdragon 625, which is an upper mid-range chipset, and still an AMOLED display. And there's more, because it also has a 5,100 milliamp hour battery which is enough to power it through a good two days of heavy usage. Now the camera has been compromised on the phone, but from a pure gaming perspective, for the purposes of this video, it's a great investment. By the company Xiaomi, we then have the Mi 6, which actually draws a lot of parallels to the OnePlus 5. Both have the Snapdragon 835, Whilst the Mi 6 has 6 gigs of RAM, the upper end OnePlus 5 has 8. Having said that, in terms of gaming, that basically makes no difference, which means that the Mi 6 at $400 is essentially the fastest gaming phone for this price. Bear in mind that there are some trade-offs. You do get a smaller 5.15 inch display as opposed to a 5.5 inch display, and also you have to deal with MIUI as opposed to Oxygen OS, and MIUI, let's just say, is nowhere near as snappy. And of course, we can't forget the iPhone 8 Plus, which has the same A11 Bionic chip as seen in the iPhone X, but is quite a lot cheaper. Having said that, the main trade-off comes in the form of the display. On the iPhone 8 Plus, we actually get a smaller display than the X in a much larger, clunkier, more archaic-looking body. But if you can put up with that, and the fact that it's a much lower resolution, then to be honest, that seems like the better option in terms of value for money. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget there are loads of phones like the S8, like the G6, like the V30, which might be better phones all in all, but from a pure gaming perspective, the ones on this list are definitely gonna do the job. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, 
and I'll catch you guys in the next one.